In this video, I'd like to describe how to calculate the number of kanbans that would be needed in a manufacturing process. Now, kanbans can be represented by cards or spaces on the floor in an assembly line. Or in this example, the kanbans themselves are containers that are moving back and forth between two processes. Let's say that we've got one process here called the finishing process and another process here called the packing station. And they're not close to one another, so these containers need to go back and forth between these two stations. And uh, so we've got the full containers going to the packing station, and then they're emptied, and the, the empty containers go back to the finishing process and, and get filled again. So what we need to do is figure out how many kanbans, or in this case, how many containers do we need to go from the finishing process to the packing station. So let's assume that we're going to calculate n, which is the number of containers or number of kanbans. Let's assume that the lead time is one hour. It takes an hour to go from the finishing process to the packing station. Let's say our average demand is 200 units per hour. That's the D bar. And let's assume that there is no safety factor built in. Let's just assume that's zero. And that the container size holds 50 units of the product that we're manufacturing. So the formula is N is equal to D bar times L plus S divided by C. So again, D bar is the average demand, 200 per hour, times 1, which is lead time, 1 hour, plus 0, the safety factor, divided by C, the container size, which was 50. So this is just 200 over 50, or 4. So 4 containers are necessary to float between those two processes, and each one lasts approximately 15 minutes.